Good Thursday morning. I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back into my office this morning as we conclude our week of videos. As I will not be doing a video tomorrow, I will be uh, at the DMV for the majority of the day. So exciting stuff there. Um, this morning we're going to take a different turn than normal. Um, I spent a little time reading yesterday and in uh, Second Peter and in, in the book of Jude. And I want to talk on something that's very important uh, and it's very near and dear to my heart. So we're going to talk about false teachers this morning. Uh, so if you would grab your morning beverage and uh, set a spell and let's see what the Word of God has to say. So this morning we're going to start in Second in Peter uh, in chapter 2. But, the, the, but there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their depraved conduct and will bring the way of truth into, in, into disrepute. In their greed, these teachers will exploit you with fabricated stories. Their condemnation has long been hanging over them, and their destruction has not been sleeping. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but sent them to hell putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment. If he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its ungodly people, but protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness, and seven others, if he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes and made them an example of what is going to happen to ungodly, and if he rescued Lot, a righteous man who was distressed by the depraved conduct of the lawless, for that righteous man living among them day after day was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. If this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to hold the unrighteous for punishment on the day of judgment. This is especially true of those who, who follow the corrupt desires of the flesh and despise authority. So, I don't, I don't know how I got on this road yesterday. Um, actually, I do. I spend a lot of time um, researching uh, false teachers because it's a, it's a pandemic, let's be honest. Um, a lot of Christian television is absorbed and completely um, enthralled with some of these teachers. And I'm not going to name any names. You know who they are. Um, if you want to talk about it in depth, please come into my office. I have all the time in the world to discuss uh, false teachers. Um, but yesterday was the 42nd anniversary of the Jonestown uh, mass suicide. Um, most of you know that whole situation. And and there's a really interesting, um, the FBI has made the transcript from the last couple of, I think the last couple of hours, honestly, of what was going on there. And uh, the, it's insane. Uh, there's no other word for it. It's insane. Um, what, what Jim Jones was able to do and able to convince people of, it, it, it's, it's terrifying. Let's it, just be honest. But in the same way, um, we have plenty of heretical teaching and, and, uh, and heretical ideas and blasphemous teaching that happens daily. Um, I, I could go right now and, and, and pull up multiple videos that are, are heretical. And especially during this pandemic, we've seen a lot of um, weird and false prophecy and a whole lot of other um, false hopes. Um, people trying to make a quick buck off of your fear. Uh, and we know that that's been going on for quite some time as they, they prey on that. But Second Peter and, uh, and also the book of Jude really, really talk about these false teachers. And Jude, Jude calls them clouds without water, clouds without rain. Um, and then Second Peter calls them out for what they are. They're heretics, uh, they're charlatans, and they're, they're, their sole goal is to swindle you and lead you down a, a, a bad path. But Second Peter also says that we should take heart in the fact that these people will be judged, and they have already been judged. So while it looks like they're, they're living lavishly now, um, that's the only reward they're going to get. And, and we should pray for those people, and we should pray for the people who are um, following them and, and studying what they have to say. So for you today, my, my word is beware of these people. Um, and as the pandemic um, keeps going and as, as possible, the, 
the vaccine, you're going to hear a lot of crazy stuff from a lot of people um, that claim to be ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, test those spirits. Test those with the word and truly look into to what, what the Bible says about it. Don't go on these conspiracy theories. Don't go out into these, these crazy things. Um, just really, really test what they're saying against the word of God and, and make sure that you are believing in a, um, or you're following someone who, who truly is teaching out of the word and not their own interpretation of the word. Um, make sure that it is a sound doctrine and sound theology. Um, again, if you if you feel like you may be following somebody that, that is not sound, please let me know. We'll talk about it. Uh, I have a list of, of, of ministers that I, I do trust and do trust their, their doctrine. Um, if you are looking for um, celebrity, quote-unquote, ministers, um, we, can, we can point you in the right track. Um, that being said, I hope you have a terrific day. Uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for the wisdom and the ability and the gift of discernment. Lord, we know that your word says that there are many false teachers Many people out there looking to, to just swindle us. People out there looking to, to make a quick buck and exploiting um, our fear and exploiting the, our hope and exploiting our need and our pain. Lord, we ask that, yes, we know your judgment is coming, Lord, but we ask that eyes be opened and ears be opened and, and people hunger for the truth and they hunger and desire for the meat and potatoes of your word, Lord. Lord, I ask that as we go through the, the next few days that you, your hand of, of protection goes with us. The peace that passes all understanding it lies upon us. Lord, we thank you and we praise your name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, like I said, won't be any video tomorrow because of my uh, upcoming appointments, um, but we will be back on Monday morning. Uh, we'll have a short week next week for the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, I really hope that you can join us on Sunday morning, either on Facebook, on our Facebook page there for First Christian Church Port Arthur, or um, you can join us in the sanctuary. And we are using social distancing and we are wearing masks, but we are live in the sanctuary. Um, the sermon this Sunday will be uh, on unconditional gratitude and will be out of Psalms 100. And uh, I look forward to, to seeing you there or interacting with you on Facebook. You all have a terrific Thursday, a terrific weekend, and remember that you are greatly blessed and highly favored.